Do you want to know my three favourite settings in iOS 14? I'm Andy and I help you do more with the gadgets you already have. So the introduction of iOS 14 for me was quite a big deal. I've historically not been a fan of Apple products and being able to see the customization which has been brought forward in iOS 14 uh, for me makes me uh, actually think that the Apple products now could be uh, an alternative to the Android ecosystem which I'm quite invested in as you will have seen in other videos. The main things in iOS 14 is uh, the introduction of widgets so at the top you can see uh, you've got these kind of scrollable widgets which you can drag in and out uh, in and out from the kind of widget panel which is on this side and then if we scroll over the other way we can see we have a a new area called app library uh, where it groups all your applications in uh, this kind of means that from the home screen uh, that where you'd normally use it and you're well familiar with in previous versions of iOS uh, you're now not totally reliant on having pages and pages of icons and uh, and folders just to do your customization so the first setting that I'd like to show you is basically my favorite feature of iOS 14 so if we go into the settings menu like so uh, and we scroll up on this occasion to accessibility here uh, and then if we go a bit down through the list there it is we see there's one called touch so let's click on touch and we go in there and then we scroll down to the bottom of the touch kind of menu and we can see there's a menu icon called back tap uh, so if we go into back tap we'll see that there's options for kind of a double tap and there are options for a triple tap now what i'm going to do here is in double tap i'm going to go through and i'm going to set home as my kind of double tap and then i'm going to go back into the menu on triple tap and i'm going to put notification center i just swiped up there to get back to the main menu going to the main menu we can see that normally you would for example if i went into firefox uh, and then I swiped up I will go back to home and if I wanted to go to my notifications on the left side of the device I would just pull down and I would see my notifications however I have to say that I am a bit hit and miss when it comes to doing those actions so for me to be able to define them using back tap uh, I can quickly uh, navigate around the device and it's a bit more android like for me which as i've said before i'm very familiar with android so having that kind of experience for me is quite important okay so let's go back to the phone okay so we have a phone in front of me i'm going to go into firefox and what i do is i double tap and it takes me back or i triple tap one two three and it gets me to my notifications and then if i double tap again it gets me back to the home screen so as i said uh, that i find that feature really really handy okay so let's look at the second feature so the second feature that i want to show you is basically a, a way of changing the default applications in ios 14 they've again introduced the ability to change the default applications for your browser and mail so i'm just going to show you how to do that now so the first thing that you do is you would scroll down to your browser of choice my browser of choice is Brave Browser, really love the browser, it's available on iOS and Android and if you haven't checked it out I advise you do, it's available in Play Store and it's available in App Center. So let's go into Brave. So here we are, there's, there's this new kind of setting here called Default Browser App and if we click that it gives us the browsers which do support this functionality on the device and we just click it over to Brave like so. This kind of now means that having Brave Browser on your device, if you were to open links on your device, you will be taken to Brave Browser instead of Safari. I'm not a fan of Safari. I don't use it as my desktop browser on my PC and my Mac. So I use Brave. So I want to be able to have that experience across all my devices. Now, similarly, if we go back into the settings menu, uh, we can also do the same with email. So if I go down to just quickly scroll down, if I scroll down to Spark, my preferred email client, which I use on iOS, I can go in there in the default mail app and I can change it to Spark like so. And that now means that when I have a mail link, uh, I can click on it and it will launch Spark for me. So the third setting I want to talk about today is around app library. So again, if we put the phone on the screen, we can see here we have the kind of app library. Now the normal experience is if you were to go into App Store and uh, install an application, it would just add another icon like this. So on my setup, we would have 
a new page added between here and App Library. However, I quite like on iOS 14 uh, that you're able to separate those three sections out and I just want the key icons in my main home screen to be able to use and access and anything else I'm fine to go into App Library because if we scroll across into App Library you can see we have the search bar at the top so I could easily put in let's put type in Facebook there we are and I could easily get Facebook so for me the couple of clicks you have to do or the couple of actions you have to do to type in is not that much of a big deal but one of the things I don't really like, as I said, is having to swipe through multiple pages to get to App Library. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into another of the settings, which is a bit a little bit buried away. You go into settings and this time we go scroll up to the top and then we find home screen. And in the home screen, we have the kind of option, which is a bit Android-esque again, uh, but you can add to home screen or add to app library only. So what I'm going to do is click add to app library only. So that means if I was to install a new application, it would put the new application into the kind of app library on the right hand side, rather than putting it into the kind of home screen. So I'm just going to demonstrate the kind of that kind of functionality. And, and it's really important to know that even if you turn this functionality on, you can still add your apps to the home screen. And that's what I'm going to do now. So if I long key press on BBC News and I go add to home screen, as you've said before, it adds the icon there. But for me, not having that on as default is, uh, is the experience that I want. So overall, I'm quite happy with the customization options Apple have given us in iOS 14. It's uh, and these three settings which I've shown you today are kind of my favorite settings. So my question to you guys is, what is your favorite settings on iOS 14? If you do have one which I haven't covered off today, yeah, can you put a, just drop it in the comments so that I can see what your thoughts are on that? And if you've liked this video, do consider subscribing to the channel and remember do click the bell icon because if you do you'll then get notified of all my future videos so i just want to thank you for watching today i hope you found this video useful i hope those shortcuts uh, can help make your experience of ios 14 a little bit more pleasant uh, and yeah and that's it for today so i look forward to catching up with you soon have a great day and thanks for watching